I'm going to start the printing part of this video by uh, starting with the um, the woodblock print and the uh, the ink the paint that I'm using is a watercolor um, paint and it comes in uh, little pans or large pans like that um, it's from uh, it's a manufacturer called Kurataki these are but it doesn't have to be that particular one any watercolor will do it um, I particularly like this this range <coughs> and they, they are quite economical so I've got a color mixed up which is here and I've got quite a bit of water in it so I have this I've also got some um, nori paste here which I'm going to add to the block as well um, and I know from my little experience of uh, doing these sort of Japanese woodblock prints that it takes quite a bit of time to get start getting a decent print um, off the block. The, the paint and the paste needs to sort of marinate and almost seal the plate before it starts giving off a decent print. So you're going to waste quite a bit of paper when you start off, uh, one solution is um, just using a, a basic photocopy paper, which is what I'm going to do here. Start with that, and then I have some Hosho paper from a pad, which um, I'm going to do the actual prints themselves onto, and see how we go. So this is the first color going on. It's a sort of um. How would I describe it? It's like a very pale emerald green colour. So here we go. So I'm just going to put lots of this around the block. And now some paste. Doesn't need anywhere near as much of the paste as it does the uh, the um, the paint that we're starting with. So with um, one of these Japanese brushes, um, I'm going to start working the ink around onto the plate. I mean, as you can see, the 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 plate's dry, the brush is dry, and everything needs to marinate together with it. You can see I'm working working it around the plate, but it's just soaking into it, so I need quite a bit more ink on that. I did pre-soak this block with water so as the absorption wouldn't be um, as drastic as it could be but it's still absorbing quite a lot of this colour that I'm applying to it. So we've got a layer on there and the first we'll take the first impression off that as it is now. So paper on the top. I'm using no registration with this because I'm just getting the plate 
moving, getting it working. So piece of baking parchment over the top of that using the baron, one of the bearing barons that we have um, with just applying pressure So we'll lift that off. As you can see, the print is there. I just need to get the plate working better. First one off. Right. I, can, I thought I had enough um, of the watercolour mixed up, but quite possibly I haven't. Um, I can see it's going to take quite a bit. So I'm, I'm, you can see that I'm applying dots of the paste around the, in certain areas of the plate and I'm just moving the, the whole of the solution that's been mixed on the plate, just moving it around. That one seems to be sitting a lot better on the actual plate itself. So let's give it another impression. See what we get. Using the parchment just stops that sort of friction of the bearing on the paper because the paper is going to be damp you now with the moisture from the watercolour. And if you're working a baron over that, you're just going to start disintegrating the paper. So I'm applying a firm bit of pressure really with it. Seem to be missing the corners at the moment I think so I'm just checking on that. Yeah. You can see this is just very basic, thin um, copy of paper that I'm using and it's going straight through, which is fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's okay. A little bit too much ink on here because you can see areas here where um, it's just bleeding from the, the actual um, cut. I think I can solve that because at the moment I'm brushing this way but if I brush that way I'll also be taking it out of the recesses that are cut. So I'm going to continue with this and come back to you when I've got the print the plate working better. Okay I'm going to move on now I've printed off probably around about six of those images onto the um, photocopy paper. I'm now going to move on to um, trying the Ho Show paper, which is pre-damped. Um, I have a couple of pieces which aren't the size I need because I am doing a registration. So um, I'll be using a registration block. But with this one, I just want to see how it sits on the actual paper itself that I'm going to print on too, so. I 
it's just an off cut that I've got of the whole show so um, we'll see how this comes out just firm pressure making sure that I'm covering the whole of the block Make sure I've got that edge. Have a look. It's looking okay. Yeah, you can see that it's just missing a couple of the corners there. That's my me but um the image is there it's not perfect yet there's still some little areas but there's some nice areas as well <clears throat> so i'm just looking at it and figuring figuring out which are the areas where there is that sort of blotchiness and seeing if i can see what's causing it right There. And now I'm going to ink the plate up again and then I'll move on to the registration papered paper. And I'll show you the setup that I've got for that. So again, the brush, start working the, the ink, the watercolour paint around the block and bringing in the rice paste, nori paste as well. I find with this technique, the more you do, it's like any of them really, the more you do, the more knowledge you gain and the better experience um, you gain, making the prints better in the end as well. So just make sure you cover all those little edges that we've been doing and just brushing through the, the cut strokes that are on the plate, just to try and take out that extra ink that's sitting in there and then I'll have a look at the plate to see if there's any areas which look dry but I can't see any at the moment so that looks okay so we're going to go ahead with that so taking my registration plate block I'm going to place my block into these two registration marks that I've got. The block's just going to sit against those and they will sit each time I use the make the print it will go there and each time I cut it. On the back you can see I put a T which means that's the top so the registration will be correct the correct way round each time I do it. So now taking one of the um, the Hosho papers, which are the size for the, the print, I'm going to take this paper and just drop it into position. Like that. So now, and then the the baron. So 
so you can see where the ink is sitting on this paper by the way it's bleeding through which is fine yeah that looks okay so I'm gonna lift it and see what we've got still blotchy seems to be a problem that I have with this type of printing anyway I'll persevere with it put it back in the damp pack <coughs> so now I'm going to persevere uh, I'm going to print some more with this print the I think I'm do, going to do six on this paper and see what I can achieve and I'll come back to you with the next stage so having printed the first color from the wooden block onto the paper there's a couple of observations that I wanted to point out um, I found that printing onto um, just the photocopy paper um, and these are the results <clears throat> compared to printing on the Japanese Hosho paper and you can see the difference in the intensity of the colour, how the colour sits better on this paper than it does on just the basic um, photocopy paper and it's just I'm just trying to point out that the, having the correct paper is just as important as any other process in the printing process not just in this but in any of the printmaking processes that we do the other thing that I wanted to point out with this was the quality of the print um, and I think it's because of the nature of this plate and the plate is really just you could say it's just got gashes in it so when I'm applying the ink, which you saw me do before, the ink will go into the cutaway areas. And it's when I'm working the, the, the watercolour ink around the plate, it's really hard to get it out of those areas. So it doesn't sort of flood the print. And it has been flooding the print. So you can see sort of areas around here. I'm hoping you can see it where there's a buildup of ink which I can't seem to get out of these areas on the plate so I think a conclusion is that um, with this type of printmaking the Japanese wood block printing um, it suits their style the Japanese style of printing compared to the one that I'm trying to do, which is the Western, and it's a reduction. So with the traditional relief, Western relief printmaking, where the ink is rolled onto the surface and nothing goes into the recesses, um, that works fine for the Western, but for the Japanese Mokohangu style, it's difficult to control the ink in these fine cutaway recess programs uh, and that's what I'm finding at the moment but logically it tells me that can't, that's not the problem I am doing something wrong here um, I'm, I must be putting too much ink onto this plate when I'm printing um, but I'm getting a, a reasonable print from it but I'll just persevere um, and see what happens. Moving on to the Japanese vinyl relief print um, that I'm doing with this, um, I'm using a registration plate that I've made, right, a piece of board, um, and I have the, I always use the terms Burton registration pins uh, for, for registering the print. I find it really good, really accurate, and I've always been happy with the results from these. Um, so what I tend to do, I'll have a, again a 
the top marked on the plate so I know which way around it is. I've got some little pieces of card here which the plate can then be put against in position. And then underneath there is some double sided tape which we can just hold it in place. So that's ready to go. Um, so I'll put that out of the way for a second. The ink I'm using is the Acqua Intaglio inks. It's this range of, of inks that you can see. So I'm printing with those. I've pre-mixed some ink up here, which I'm going to use as the first colour for this block. Um, you will, if you've never used these inks before, the, they are a very different type of ink. A lot, a, the consistency of the ink is very different. But I'm quite happy with the results that I've had from these so far. So <laughs> just to ink up the roll up. one side for a minute then I'm just gonna very gently start applying the the ink to the surface of the the vinyl and I'm being very careful how I roll this out um, I think far too often people are a little bit blasé about inking up plates and it's important it's important to get it on correctly and evenly So we'll use that, we'll go with that. Just a, a rough print to see how it's looking on the on the plate. Again, okay, a piece of baking parchment and I'm using the ball bearing baron again. You see I'm not using the pins on this because I'm just getting the first print off to see what, what the image looks like. And I'll just lift a little bit off. That's looking okay. And I noticed there's a an area there where the, the the carbon paper is coming off onto the print, but it's all right. Again, I'm inking up the plate. I'm just taking my time and being very meticulous about how much ink I'm putting on and making sure that the plate has a good covering of ink on the surface. When you're inking up on a board a registration board like this one thing you've got to be careful of and it's very easily done and very easily easy to miss 
is that the roller hitting the area around the plate and leaving a little bit of ink which can then very easily like that which very easily can transfer onto the print itself and that you don't want so now you can see the tabs that I've got here with these little protruding pins on them not tabs these are the um, registration pins <coughs> so I take the paper keep it lifted away from the the plate and just hook the holes in the tab onto the pins hold it steady and let it drop onto the the inked up plate so now I'll start working with the baron in a circular motion firm pressure to one side and we'll take a look yeah that's a respectable print so I'm quite happy with that I can unclip the print there we go first colour on this three colour print I think So we'll carry on and print some more and then we'll come back with the next stage.